What's up, people? Case West back with another episode of Better Call Saul. This is episode 11. No, episode 12. Waterworks, which does not sound good. Obviously, a reference to crying. Um, We know in the last episode, Jimmy was calling for Kim, and she worked at a sprinkler company, I believe. So possibly a reference there. Uh, we didn't get to see or hear, excuse me, we didn't get to hear, we did see, we didn't get to hear the conversation between Jimmy and whoever he was talking to, whether it was Kim. You know, at the time, I thought that he wasn't able to get a hold of Kim, and so they were maybe refusing to give out her information, because I didn't think he would possibly be that mad at her, because he was angry after that call. But we don't really know what happened after Kim left, like how the rest of that played out. So it could have gone south. Um, and when Francesca said that uh, Kim called and was calling to check up on her specifically, and Saul's name came up, so she didn't call to ask for Jimmy, you know, specifically. So that tells me that they pretty much cut ties and if that's the case if it did end poorly then he very well could have spoken with her and if he did I would assume she reamed him out in a classic Kim come to Jesus speech basically saying like what were you thinking uh, and that would explain why he's back into the slipping Jimmy you know uh, in this last episode when he was scamming all these people. Obviously the feds took most of his money, but he was doing okay. So I could understand if he was doing it to get some of his money back. Uh, but then we also saw him waking up with prostitutes in his bed like he did uh, immediately following the breakup with Kim. And it kind of makes me think that he was just spiraling. And maybe he, whatever, if he did talk to Kim, it pissed him off and he was like, fuck it, I'm just going full slipping Jimmy again. And I don't know, maybe needed to feel like he had a little control. Like You guys did a good job in the um, comment section, as always, talking about maybe that's just his coping mechanism. Uh, with this being the second to last episode, I mean, from that teaser, it looks like uh, Jimmy's going to get caught, possibly, with this little breaking and entering. I really don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, my guess, I don't know if you, I, I, I'll call it, a, logically, it's probably not a good guess, but this is what I would like to see. I want to see Saul get caught, go to jail, whatever, and then Kim have to step in to bail him out. Now, I don't know that she has her law license again. I would doubt that she does. She's working for a sprinkler company. I don't know. Maybe she just formulates a plan instead of like coming to his aid legally. Maybe she just comes up with a way to get him out. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to waste any more time because I'm really excited. So let's just jump into it. We are going to get some more back to the breaking bed. I assume. It's been an hour. You've got a lobby full of people out here, and at 8 o'clock, I am done. I don't care if the building burns down. I'm going home. Everyone can hear you bouncing that thing. That's the sound of thinking. You should try it sometime. What a dick. What is that supposed to represent? The foundations are crumbling? Because they're not made out of anything strong? I 
That's a good shot. Oh, is that divorce papers? Damn. Yeah. What are you waiting for? Send her in. Oh, shit. He had Kim waiting. Oh, so it's not going to end well. He had her waiting for an hour because he's bitter. Oh, wait. For some reason, I was thinking this was a flashback. How's it coming? Is this her life now? Did you get the mayonnaise? Technically, I don't think this is mayonnaise. But close, right? I love Miracle Whip. It's disgusting, but I shot? love it. I don't know. What do you think? Well, this is as close as I could get anyway. <laughs> How is she not bored out of her fucking mind? That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. She's just... Yep. 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 Damn, she he's just changed her. Oh, I thought the potato salad worked out great. Accent and everything. Yep. Yeah, there it is. ABS or PVC? Oh, great. That's cute, June. I'll pick up the cake after lunch. Do you remember what kind of ice cream Tammy likes? Uh, geez, Yeah, no. so maybe, what do you think? Vanilla or strawberry? Ooh, um. They're both good. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Five o'clock. Okay, great. He's like, Indecisive on purpose. Well, I mean, because, I mean, think about it. So, whatever happened to crack? How come you never hear about it on the news anymore? <laughs> Did everybody just all decide to stop taking it? What's the drug that makes you dance around and put a pacifier in your mouth? Ecstasy. Ecstasy. Tuna salad. I made it with Miracle Whip instead of mayonnaise. Hmm. I use almond butter instead of peanut. Ugh. I don't like seeing her like this. She's going to be obsessing over some small detail. Yeah. Oh, Florida. You know it's so humid right now. No thanks. Palmco sprinkler, watering your world since 1978. Please hold. Yep. Kim, there's a Victor St. Clair for you on line three. Kim? <laughs> yep, okay. So she's still going by Kim. Yeah, so what do you think about that? That's pretty rude. It has to be Kim Wexler, because that's what Kimmy said. Kim Wexler. This is... I'm going to take that as a yes. What do you want? I don't... I don't want anything. I just... It's been a while. You know, just... I'm thinking it's been a while. 
while, and uh, might be nice to catch up. It's been six years. I mean, Jesus. I, I couldn't believe it. I thought you might want to know I'm still alive. I'm still out here, still getting away with it. Feds couldn't find their own ass with both hands in a proctologist. You shouldn't be calling me. Oh, hey, you're awake. You shouldn't be calling. Why not? What am I, tying up the line for important irrigation business? Come on, Kim, say something. <sighs> you can call me an asshole. Yell at me. Just let me know you still got a pulse. You should turn yourself in. Do what? You heard me. Living, but it can't be much. Set the pot to the kettle. And why don't you turn yourself in? Seeing as how you're the one with the guilty conscience, huh? What, what is stopping you? Brings in the ground. Mike's in the ground. Lalo's in the ground, apparently. And you don't have to hold back on my account. I just... I only wanted to... Kim... I'm glad you're alive. Mm. I mean, it's a good point, Jimmy. You know, she didn't turn herself in. Happy birthday to I mean, I, I don't know, though. What did she... Did she do anything illegal that, that was directly related to... Howard getting killed? Oh shit. I know that airport. That is New Mexico. You know, so what's she doing though? Because Jimmy's not here. She, who's she here to see, though? Hi, Cheryl. I'm out front. I guess she came to get... her contact info. Maybe this is her turning herself in. She's, she's gonna go... Tell Howard's widow what really happened. at the wrong time. And how do you not just throw up? Where's his body? I don't know. It all happened in an instant, and he didn't... He didn't suffer. The lies you two made up. 
the picture you painted. That's all he is now. That's all anybody remembers. I want to change that. What happens now? Will you be tried? Will you go to jail? I don't know. Bernalillo County has my affidavit. It's up to the district attorney whether to prosecute. Oh, so she went and turned that in first. And she may not. Why? There's no physical evidence. No remaining witnesses other than my ex-husband, assuming he's still alive. a lot maybe if he set off some kind of a alarm when he broke in surely it would have made a noise oh shit And Jimmy, get the hell out. He's just a burglar. Just a common bird. Because I live in the 21st goddamn century, all right? Mm -hmm. And this, this is some bullshit. I'm telling you, I got half a mind of going back over there and smack somebody in their face with it. What in the fuck just happened? What a fucking idiot. Oh, and now Jimmy's going to bail. I mean, I guess he can just act like he was... I don't know. He's not going to have alcohol in his system. Florida, Florida. Why there? 
I guess. It doesn't matter. Doesn't have to make sense. <laughs> hey, I gotta tell you, I think you're gonna regret not taking your share of the sandpiper money. I will um, file these tomorrow. All right, well, have a nice life, Kim. Hey, sweet cheeks, who do we got next? Let's make some money. Emilio Koyama. Oh, shit. Where's your paperwork? I don't do no paperwork. He doesn't do paperwork. Who cares? Come on, come on. Emilio's the one that Crazy 8 ratted out. Jesse. Wow. Hey, yo. Hey, bump one of those. What's up with this shit? Rainy. It's like bananas, all this rain. I mean, I thought we were like in a desert, you know? <laughs> You're a lawyer, right? Ah, I recognize you. You defended my buddy Cabo. Oh, shit. Christian Ortega, Juvie Court, Soul Baby Jesus. I mean, not like a real baby, just a, you know, one of those sayings outside of the church. Nativity scene. Yeah. Knights of Columbus. This guy, Goodman, see the real deal? Like, lawyer-wise? Why do you ask? I got a buddy in there who's facing some serious time. I mean, not, you know, not baby Jesus time, but, but serious. So, you know, he needs top shelf legal representation. Anyways, this guy, any good? When I knew him, he was. When I knew him, he was. Police are obviously barking up the wrong tree. Yeah, no shit, wrong tree, <laughs> wrong like forest. Exactly, because you would never do something like that, would you, son? No, no, no way, man, absolutely not. And Jeff, you're gonna get the best legal defense in the whole wide world. Trust your old man on that. Okay, copy that, sit tight. You do that. I maxed out my Discover card, and I'm still paying for that one. Well, money's not gonna be a problem because I'm gonna help you with that. No, Gene, I can't let you do that. No. Sure you can. Jeff will pay me back. And you don't have to worry about a bondsman either, because guess what? In Omaha, they don't have them. Right? You just walk into the station, you pay a straight cash bail. It's not like Albuquerque at all. How would you know? Starting to put some pieces together. Oh shit, here we go. Albuquerque Law. Unplug the phone. She may have already called the damn FBI on him. Uh wanna put some clothes on so that we can get moving? What do you say? Uh you know what I I I don't want to slow things down. I think maybe you ought to go without me. Found it. Did you know that you have rights? The Constitution says you do, and so do I. I believe that Color. proven guilty. Every man, woman, and child in this country. What did Jeff tell you? Well, he didn't tell me anything. Ask Jeeves told me. <laughs> I typed in con man in Albuquerque. And up you popped, big as day. Here, let me help you with that. 
story. Listen, I think we're losing sight of the bigger picture here, okay? Jeff is in trouble, and I want to help him. He and I sure could use your support here. What'd you get my son into? Nothing that he didn't ask for. Now, listen, I'm still the good friend you thought I was. Okay, Jeff understands me. Buddy understands me. And you will, too. Hi, right, it looks like you're gonna you strangle her. You have to, uh, you know, keep things on an even keel. I trusted you. No, Valerie, I'm not okay. There's a criminal standing in my kitchen threatening me. He's a wanted man, and his name is Saul Goodman. All right, Miriam, I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. Oh, shit. Yeah, uh, that's about right. Wow. On the run. Oh. Hoover, Max Extract Pressure, Pro Model 16. Hoover, Pressure Pro Max Extract. Damn, that thing's burnt up. Oh, that's the. That's his old car. Okay. Okay. Uh, quite a lot happened in that episode. Kim started a new life in florida has an accent changed her hair i don't know i guess she wasn't married to that guy but seriously dating job she's still going by kim wexler which i guess makes sense she doesn't she's not hiding the way that uh, jimmy is and i can't tell if she was miserable if she was happy I mean, she just looked robotic. But I did, you know, the Kim that we know is very decisive. Uh, when she she knows what's right, and when she makes her mind up, she she does it. Uh, Kim now is very indecisive. Feels like she's doing that on purpose, like a cover your tracks, be exactly opposite of how you used to be. I don't know. I just I do not like seeing her like that. Um Kim and Jimmy did not end well. I don't know how much time went by. I know it was six years since they got the divorce. But how much time went by from when Kim said she was done to when she signed the papers in this episode? I mean Jimmy had already leaned completely into Saul at that point. I don't know how much of that was like an act, like trying to say, fuck you, you know, not showing any emotion. But it seemed genuinely like he just, when he said, have a nice life, Kim. It didn't feel like he was faking that. Because I think we would have seen a, a cut back to him alone and him dealing with how he really felt and then kim getting to talk to jesse didn't did not see that coming she uh i guess she represented combo fucking jeffy what was he doing i don't know if that was that supposed to be like he hit the gas too hard maybe and the ice slipped it out or he just panicked and lost control he said his foot slipped off which could have happened but <sighs> Fuck. I did know that his mom was going to be the one that, that found Saul. Once she got the internet, I knew that that was probably what was going to happen. Now he's got to run again. And I guess he's going to try to get disappeared. Kim wrote a confession, submitted it, went and told Howard's widow. 
and then just completely broke down. There was the waterworks on the bus. I actually had a bad feeling during that scene. I was like, man, Kim might commit suicide here. But maybe now after releasing that and finally telling the truth about everything and about Howard, maybe now she can move on. I don't know if they'll show us, but it would be nice to see a little aftermath of people. I doubt they'll show it, but I'd like to see Howard's reputation restored in the show. I mean, obviously, we only got one episode left, so I, I doubt they'll have enough time to put that in there. But it's good to know that at least there will be some closure on that. And when Kim pulled up to that booth and Mike wasn't there, it's kind of sad. Well, that was a good episode. Uh, how is it going to end? I mean, it can't... It can't end well. It's got to end with Jimmy going to jail, I would expect. Well, that's going to do it for me, guys. I have to keep these short because I like to be the first person to upload on a YouTube. And I still got to work in the morning, so I try not to stay up too late. But uh, as always, feel free to like, subscribe, comment. You can even turn on the notification bell if you'd like. Um, all that helps my channel, and I really appreciate it. So I'll catch you on the next one. See you.